Hi, how's it going everybody? Mike here, back on Mike Talks. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks since the last time I posted a video, but I'm sure everybody was pretty occupied with the new Desert War event and then everything that's been going on. So I just wanted to do a quick video about some changes and some updates that happened with uh, my favorite thing to do on the game, which is Homeland Defense. Easy way to get rewards, easy way to go about things. I'll probably do another video here sometime soon about a different topic, but they have made some changes to the um, Homeland Defense. For example, heroes. So one of the new heroes that I've incorporated is Menez. He has the exact same attack, defense, and health as the other categories of infantry style heroes, but for him, he has an ability that only costs 5 energy, which sets up a barricade to block enemies. The barricade has 100% of the hero's defense and 360% of the hero's max health. Now, I know most of you are looking at that and you're thinking to yourselves, why would I want a barricade that doesn't do anything? Well, as I'm about to show you when I do this next challenge... Um, it actually helps you control the enemies a little bit more and I have developed a strategy in using him that's helped me get pretty high up on the leaderboards as you can see right now currently I am in first place right now at level 160 I actually just beat a couple of levels but this level that I'm on right now is proving to be maybe a little bit more than what I can handle but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of how I've been running this um, so as it stands right now, I am running Edward, El Cid, Richard, Temjuin, Menez, and Alexander. So all, these are actually all legendary heroes. All of them are maxed out to level 60 and all of them are fully awakened. So pretty powerful crew I have going on here. So I'm going to give you guys a quick run through as I go through. And just to show you what my strategy is. Now the strategy is going to change a little bit different depending on the level that you're at. Because most of the time you only need you to use two barriers. So I'm going to start with a barrier right here to stop those guys that are advancing. As you can see right here, that elephant monster that's getting ready to come. So as you can see, my heroes start to spread out, right? So now I'm going to put another one right by the wall over here. And as you can see... The barbarians ignore the heroes and they go straight for the barricade which means that you go a period of time where you start to have kills and you start to yeah, your heroes are killing the barbarians but they're not really getting attacked as you can see poor alex and richard over there are getting attacked right now so i um, have enough to launch sid's ability but i'm going to wait till 10 because it'll break this barrier over here so i'm going to let it go right now and as you can see they're all starting to run towards the attack that I just unleashed, which killed quite a bit of them. And then now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And then just kind of let them all funnel their ways into it. And then now I only have 49 barbarians left. Um, this is probably too much right now, but we're going to go ahead and give it a shot and see if we can't make something happen here. So as you can see, because of the barriers, most of my all most of my infantry heroes actually survived the initial run through. So now I just have to deal with these guys right now, which are these monsters. Or I'm sorry, the big barbarians. So I'm using El Cid's ability, which actually weakens them. So it does a lot of damage and it also weakens the monsters while you go through it as well. So now I'm gonna launch it right here. As you can see, their health is going to start going down. I'm probably going to start... I'm going to lose one other, maybe two other infantry heroes before the end of this. But I might actually have this one in the bag. So there goes one. I only have one left. And he's not even an elephant, so I think I got this one in the bag. There we go. And that was level 162. So as you can see, my Sid did a million nine hundred and fifty-two thousand damage. He has four hundred and ten kills. Next on the list is Edward. After Edward is Temjuin, and then of course my poor infantry heroes who just kind of took most of the damage for me. Um, 
So throughout that video, I used three barricades because I noticed that once you get past, I believe it was a level 150. I believe when I passed level 150, two barriers were not working out. So originally what I would do, that first barrier that I put up where I kind of started to funnel all the, bar or all the barbarians on the left side, I put that up because you get so many that come on that left side that they get kind of overwhelmed. So it becomes a little bit difficult to handle them. If you do it with just two barriers, if you're not past level 150 yet, which I believe that only one other person on the leaderboard was, um, two barriers should be sufficient. So if you put two barriers on each side of the wall, actually I'll just do another quick challenge at level 160. I'll show you that I'm 100% not going to win this challenge, I don't think, but I'll show you guys how I was doing it in the lower levels that helped me so much. So I would set a barrier right here behind Menes in front of the wall. You have to be careful because if you put those barriers too close to the wall, it will waste the energy, but it will not give you the barrier. And then I'm going to put another one behind Alex over here. So as you can see, those two barriers are up and now I'm going to wait for the charge ability to come up and then I'm going to start unleashing El Cid's ability while they're all trapped up against the barrier right now. So I have the funneled in quite nicely. So I'm gonna let this go ahead and go right now. <clears throat> so as they're coming in, boom, starting to plow through right now. And this is with only two. So that's the only difference between what I'm doing now and what I was doing before. And now I'm going to hit these two monsters, unleash El Cid's ability again. Actually I'm doing Pretty not terrible right now, but as you can see, my poor heroes over here are starting to get overwhelmed by the barbarians because I was letting them funnel through. But I don't know, we might be able to do something here. Might be able to get away with it. I don't think so because they're already starting to take care of El Cid. As you can see, his health is going down. So the monsters are pretty strong on this one. I'm sorry, the uh, elephant barbarians are pretty strong, so it's quite difficult for me to get rid of them and you get so many so you start out with 843 which is quite a significant amount to start out with over here oh. and I tried to use Edward's ability but I used it right as one of them were getting ready to unleash their special so if you look at this little yellow bar right here as soon as that fills up that means they're gonna unleash a heavy attack So as you can see, that was my strategy for levels all the way up until I got to about level 150. Um, as soon as I got to level 150, that's when I had to start using three barriers because there were just so many of them. So between the difference between this video and the last one that I posted was I was using Nobunaga. Nobunaga does have a fantastic ability, but I think Menez's contribution to it gives me the ability to kind of just funnel them in. So set up a barricade to block enemies. The barricade has 100% of the hero's defense and 360% of the hero's max HP. So as you guys could see in the video, it kind of lets you funnel them if you place the barriers in the right spot. Now I urge you guys to kind of play with it a little bit and figure out where exactly you want to place them because after a lot of trial and error and swapping out between different heroes, I figured out the lineup that I have right now works best for me in getting up. So, But if you guys come with your own strategy or if you have your own heroes or you might not have the heroes that I have or the ability to do it, I really urge you to kind of play with it and figure out what your strategy is. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time.